Hi everyone, welcome back to Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our daily technical analysis update on the VeChain token. I must apologize for posting so late today. I'll definitely be doing a better job tomorrow with the content. I'm gonna be doing um, some technical analysis uh, videos on things like Harmony One I'll be doing our predictions for, Chainlink, uh, Matic, also known as Polygon now. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be updating everyone on that as well. We're doing another Ada video, a lot of more content. So I, will, I do apologize for posting so late, guys. And uh, I, I must say, just before this video starts, um, I'm not a financial advisor, so do make sure that you're not interpreting any of this as financial advice. This is merely my opinion from someone with a nice portfolio and um, a great understanding of technical analysis, in my opinion. So if this video does provide you with any value, do remember to subscribe to the channel and join that Discord community group in the description below. And I'm going to get into VeChain uh, to the Tev US token on a four hourly time frame now. I see that we do have quite a lot of subscribers from all around the world. So I must uh, give luck to everyone from the Swiss supporters, the Spanish supporters, the Italian and also the Belgium supporters for tomorrow's games. Um, so yeah, definitely good luck in them games. I'm looking forward to it almost as much as VeChain hitting that $1.50 mark. So you can see on this uh, four hourly time frame here that we have got some nice bullish patterns playing out. You can see that this is a reverse head and shoulders pattern. That's the left shoulder, this is the head, and that's the right shoulder. So well done if you did manage to um, make that trade. You can see that we are potentially gonna make this uh, same pattern actually on this uh, shorter time frame. As you can see that this is potentially the left shoulder here where we um, actually left our right shoulder on the last pattern. And this is potentially our head, and potentially we could see another um, kind of right shoulder coming in here. This is just a little pattern which potentially could play out here guys so i'm just going to make you aware that we do have a kind of target of around 9.3 cent 9.4 cent there and i'm just going to show you these trend lines um, and why they're significant so you can see that this trend line it's actually been valid uh, this resistance uh, line it's been valid ever since we kind of broke down on around the 10th of may i should actually extend that a bit it's around the 7th of may uh, that this has been valid so you can see that this was a very valid um, resistance line and essentially we were making lower lows uh, consistently in the short term here and you can see that we have actually managed to break out of that and we are making higher lows in the short term so i'm just going to zoom back in there for you guys so you can see that i do definitely believe that we have bottomed out here for the v chain token on this wave c of the elliott wave theory uh, journey of the fourth wave and I do think that we wick down here towards that six cent level. And that, that's it guys. I think that we've bottomed out for VeChain. The only way is up in my opinion. Obviously we're gonna see a bit of consolidation now. I still do believe we're in a consolidation phase. However, this four hourly time frame is indicating some really nice uh, some nice things for us here guys. So you can see that this uh, support line was actually valid on the 22nd of June. You can see that we have consistently um, kind of adhered to this. We back tested it quite importantly on the 27th of June which indicated that we were gonna see a bit of a bounce towards this resistance. We've managed to kind of back test this uh, resistance line here. Perhaps this should actually be a little bit lower. That, that'd make more sense to the fact that we have kind of uh, tested that. And uh, now we're on for continuation, essentially. I do think that we are gonna hit some nice targets like this 9.3 cent level in um, the coming kind of uh, days. And I'm just gonna map in some nice uh, resistance levels that we do kind of need to get above in order to continue on this cycle. So the first one I'm just gonna map in here is actually just a little bit higher than this uh, inverse, so this reverse head and shoulders. And that's actually coming in at around nine, around 10 cent really. So I'll just make that 10 cent there. And you can see that this is coming in from our resistance, which was on the 20th of June. And essentially we did actually manage to hit our head on this resistance level here and come down, test the support once again. And then from this support, we managed to come up with these higher lows, as you can see. I hope this is clear for everyone. So if we did actually manage to come above this level, back test it, this is when some interesting things um, could kind of happen for VeChain in the short term. So you can see that from that level, we'd then be uh, potentially testing this kind of 11.4 cent. And this is just some resistance levels, which I can see from over the, over here. These are resistance levels, which we didn't manage to uh, continue from when we were managing to back test that, um, that initial kind of resistance line as support. And the fact that we have actually managed to back test this one as support and continue above this trending line uh, definitely shows me that we are on to hit some nice targets. So you can see on this stock RSI as well on the four hourly, perhaps not as relevant on the four hourly timeframe. However, it is right at the bottom here. We are overextended on the oversold side of things. 
which is definitely meaning that it is a potentially a good entry point in this consolidation period. You can see that we do have a, a decrease in volume here ever since around the 22nd of June when we got bought up on this 6 cent. And we do need that, that uh, sentiment to change. If we do want to take some uh, advantage of this RSI, we are looking kind of for this RSI to correct a little bit. So I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say it's out of the picture if we were just to kind of test this support level a few more times. That's around 8.2 cent there. We should actually really have that in at around 8 cent. So we might just kind of be trending around the 8 cent level for a little bit. But these are the kind of levels which I um, kind of expect that we're going to hit, guys. And by the way, I just want to show you this, um, this quickly. I'll just remove these. So you can see that when this resistance line was closing in on the support line, which was trending here, uh, I just want to show you these, uh, this, this kind of thing here, guys, because I think it's really important. You can see that this is where VeChain was going to have to make the decision because you can see here that essentially when these uh, two resistance and the support line close in on each other, VeChain has to make a decision. It can either come above and back test and continue, it can fall below and go short, or it can kind of just consolidate in between the two, as I'll just kind of map out here. It can, con it can consolidate between the two like this. And then it has to make a decision when it comes to this point, do you see? And this essentially is quite good for uh, analysts like me because it's very easy for us to see what the valid trend is. So when we did actually see candles back testing uh, above this resistance level, it definitely did uh, indicate to us that we are going on for a bit more upside, which is where we saw that kind of like 9.2 cent uh, region. So that's just something which I, I kind of wanted to share with you guys. And I'm just going to jump into the daily and the weekly time frame now to show you what I'm seeing there. This is VeChain on the daily time frame here and you can see that this uh, resistance level is clearly uh, definitely valid because on the daily time frame it's showing up just as clear and you can see that we are currently back testing this uh, kind of resistance as support which on the daily time frame kind of indicates that we are potentially going to hit this 8 cent level one more time before we do uh, kind of go up. Right now we're trending at around 8.5 cent. So nothing too big guys, nothing to really be paying attention to, especially if you're a long term kind of thinker. It's just for day traders who might see this video quite quickly. If we were actually to um, back test this support and we fall through, we see this uh, daily candle closing below. And it does actually have only around an hour at the minute to close below this point. Um, I would actually be shorting down to this uh, potential 7 cent region. This is where we found support before. And uh, if we were to kind of fall below this particular region on the 7.7 .7 cent where our kind of support level is, this is where I believe we're going to hit. However, I don't anticipate this is going to happen. Um, you can see our RSI on the dailies on this 42 level, so nothing to, um, nothing to be worrying about, guys. So if we were actually to... Um, I'll just, actually, I'll just get these 20 EMAs and the 34 EMAs in. You can see that we are clearly hitting our head as resistance on this 20 EMA here on around this 9.1 cent region. So this is definitely something that we're trying to get above. This is something that I definitely do believe we're going to test once again if we did back test this as support. Um, so definitely do have a little long trade in there at 9.1 uh, cent. And then if we were to get above that, this is where our clear um, our clear target of 9.9 .9 cent is for VeChain, which I was showing you on the 4 hourly time frame just then. And you can see that this is where we failed to uh, kind of back test on the 21st of June in order to have this in sorry this reverse uh, head and shoulders pattern. So this was actually invalidated when we back tested and failed there. So this is definitely a level which we're looking to get above. And I'm just going to show you on the weekly time frame what I'm seeing there now, and essentially uh, what my price predictions are for the end of July towards um, kind of August time. This is V chain on the weekly time frame here, and you can see that um, we are actually kind of hitting our resistance on this 34 EMA at the minute and um, I definitely do think that once we do back test this 34 EMA on the weekly time frame that this is when we're going to start hitting this um, resistance of the 20 EMA and potentially try and back test that and then we are on for this wave 5 of continuation guys which is going to be very exciting for anyone who's entering VeChain at the minute. So essentially you can see that we're easily hitting support here, we are back testing it we're quite comfortably above it at the moment. This is something that we want to continue to happen. You can see on this Stotch RSI, we clearly have bottomed out um, on this Stotch RSI, which is a nice indicator where we kind of have bottomed out for VeChain, in my opinion. And um, yeah, around this 6 cent region, on this C wave of the fourth um, wave on this Elliott Wave Theory journey, 
this is essentially where I believe we've uh, bottomed out and that's it. I believe that that is the as low as we're going to go for VeChain and this is where um this is kind of where I believe my price predictions are able to to kind of be a, a lot more valid um due to the fact that this Elliott wave theory is playing out. So if we are able to see this weekly candle close above the 34, go on and test this 20 Go and back test the 20 and then I'll show you the next resistance which is clearly in here around 12.6 cent. If we manage to back test that then we're on for this next resistance. You see how it's just easy as this guys, we're off to test this resistance. Obviously it's going to be quite a lot um, in between but this is just what a weekly time frame is in the bigger picture. We're going to test the 17.5 then we're going to test this 23 cent level guys. And this takes me on to my July, end of July uh, kind of start of August price prediction which is actually coming in at 23 cent. Now, in order for this price prediction to be hit, we do need the sentiment in the market to have quite a drastic change. We do need it to flip. Essentially, what I'm saying is that Bitcoin needs to get above $41,000, the 20 EMA and the weekly. It needs to back test that, go on on that wave five of continuation towards $200,000. And then this is where these kind of targets are gonna start being uh, re-met essentially. So yeah, 23 cent for VeChain, uh, kind of conservatively between uh, the end of August and September. I do know that I am saying the end of uh, July. However, I, I aren't going to be overly shocked if that doesn't happen. Kind of September, end of August time is where I'm going to start getting very excited on this wave five for, uh, for VeChain. So you heard it here first, guys, and I'm going to get into my end of the bull run price prediction. So you can see that the end of the bull run price prediction is coming in at $1.50, and this is the end of this um, Elliott wave uh, theory wave five sorry and essentially all we need for this to happen is um we essentially when when these uh, coins start going parabolic when bitcoin essentially gets and starts hitting these targets like seventy five thousand dollars is a big target in my opinion as soon as we kind of back test that kind of level which is above our all-time high for bitcoin i believe that this is when real world projects are going to start um kind of coming to light Things like um, ADA coin, VET, um, XRP, these kind of coins are going to come into light a bit more. And I believe that this is when we're going to see these kind of news catalysts are going to have more of an impact essentially on the price. So we do always have more, we, we, we continuously have um, VeChain news updates, new partnerships, uh, new things that they're doing with a project. And these aren't having much impact on the price. However, when we're in this kind of parabolic run, the market sentiment is very good. These are when um, that's when these kind of uh, catalysts have an impact. So essentially, this is my end of the bull run price prediction. I am actually going to be reevaluating when we get to around fifty cent, and I'm going to be seeing whether we can hit that two dollar target, as this is my initial kind of target. I kept it nice and conservative before on the channel, but now I've kind of just found a leeway in the middle at one dollars fifty, and this adheres to our Elliott wave theory. So let me know in the comments what uh, your price prediction is. I aren't saying that this is fundamentally uh, objective. It's my opinion, and I'd definitely be interested in uh, your in your opinion as well. I'll get into the fear and greed index in tomorrow's video in a, a bit more depth, and I'll show you what I'm seeing there with the sentiment. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. Do make sure to enjoy the Euros games tomorrow. It's going to be great. And uh, yeah, do subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.